everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to discuss how you are going to use the generative AI models whether it's chat GPT or Microsoft Copilot or any other model any other generative model doesn't matter which model you are using in your organization to leverage it within the software testing space and create the testing related documents for example in this video we are going to discuss about creating the test plan from the requirements now current scenario in the industry is mostly your requirements will be into the user story format and they'll be into some tools or could be in the format of the document so if if they are in the tools you can al always export them but say for example your requirement document is something like this which is uh, this is just a dummy requirement document which I have created and a sample user story or user requirement document for a sample e-commerce application so the reference is basically most common e-commerce application that are available nowadays based on that what should be the key features in the e-commerce application those requirements are articulated in this document and this is the this is the starting point when we say the software development or you are building any application then requirement what exactly end user or customer is looking for that is what you will be preparing or the product research will happen and based on that what end user is looking for that becomes your requirement and that requirement is what needs to be built in the application now if we talk about you are the person who wants to build the house now in order to build the house there are a lot of things that are involved so you will have certain requirement where exactly I want to buy the land which location locality what are the requirements in terms of do we have shopping complex nearby or do we have groceries nearby these are some of the criteria that you define post that you have the requirement of what sort of house you are looking for what material you will be using so all of that is then noted down in, in a document and that formulates the requirement of building the house how many rooms you want on each floor how many floors you want that is the requirement that goes to the contractor so similarly in order to build any application you will need the requirement document and that requirement document will articulate or have the explanation of what needs to be built in that software application now if you talk about this document you have the introduction scope the personas the functional requirements are do documented here non-functional requirements are there and some of the very important for example user registration profile management product search advanced filtering these are very common features that need to be there in the e-commerce application then you have the scope in scope items what scope items are there in this requirement document and then the requirement document also articulates what is out of scope so these are uh, this is how the requirement document will look like in case you do not get it into the doc format you will have it in the tool wherein you can export into the document format and then use that document format into the generative AI to prepare the test plan and then you can upload that test plan into any tool that you want so there could be possibility that there is integration as well available wherein you can pull the doc, uh, the requirements straight away from Jira if Jira is being used from the generative AI but I'll go ahead with this document and explain you how you can create the test plan so this requirement document is available now based on this requirements specification I want to prepare the test plan and use the generative AI capability to quickly create test plan and then refine it okay so now let me go back to chat GPT and here I'll first thing I'll you will have the option so this is the free version and how I want to create the test plan I'll use the standard IEEE 8 to 9 test plan template which has these sections now this is the traditional test plan but for a release level you should have a high level test plan anyways even if you are following the agile methodologies it's always good to have a high level test plan for releases that happen across your product release because that will give you the overall scope and what approach you are going to test and release the product so we'll follow this test plan template and ask chat GP to prepare a test plan so I'll go ahead and click on add photos and files so if you click on this plus sign here I'll click on add file and then you will see I'll just select this sample user requirement document so I'll click on that and this document will be then uploaded now I'll go ahead and ask 
the question i'll ask chat gpt which is the free version i am not using the upgraded version still and we'll see how the test plan is generated i'll also mention now prompting is very important okay so i'll say i'll copy this section of the test plan and i'll say prepare test plan for the attached document use the below test plan template I'll say I'll paste this test plan template okay so now here because I have certain requirements in here the generative AI should be able to because it has been trained on large set of data so there would would be some information in terms of how much effort these this piece of work would have taken previously so based on that it will suggest me some details around the deliverables around the test task around the items around what environments responsibilities etc so let's say uh, the staffing and training needs as well right so let let me send this and see what it creates so you'll see i've reviewed the doc requirement document you shared based on those details i have prepared comprehensive test plan using your provided template because i have provided the template you will see automatically it has taken that template and prepared the test plan based on this template so you'll see test plan for e-commerce it has also added the identifier because i have provided the identifier in there and then the test deliverables okay so test plan document test cases test data set test execution report defect report logs and final test summary report right so these are the test deliverables which came into this part and pretty awesome right i mean if i would have to think about all of these things i would have either gone to the previous template and got details in there based on my experience i would have provided certain points in there and then in the reviews i would have came up with anything that was missing but because ai companion is there generative ai is there it has automatically helped me to fetch the important and core aspects of the test plan it has also put in the introduction so the test this test plan outlines the test strategy scope activities for e-commerce web and mobile responsive application the goal is to validate core workflows such as product browsing cart management ch checkout and this ha it has picked up from the document from the requirement document and provided with the introduction which is absolutely awesome then test task what need to be there in the test task what are the test items so based on the key items that are there the functionalities that are there it has picked up the test items it has provided the environmental needs the test environments chrome firefox edge safari mobile browser the devices desktop android iphones tablets the tools what can i use i can use selenium for automation uh, jmeter for performance testing for api testing i can use postman now if in your project you are not using postman you are using some other tool then you have to go ahead and edit this right now the idea here is not to blindly go ahead and follow this test plan template the idea is to get the maximum information and knowledge that the generative ai can provide you and then refine this test plan which will help you to quickly formulate the test plan which used to take a couple of days now you can do it in a couple of hours and share the draft version remember that doesn't matter how advanced the generative ai is still the test plan can't be generic they are specific to the prod to the project and because they are specific so you have to get the general information and provide the specific information by yourself based on the context of your project what environment are available what platforms are specifically available in your case so you have to go ahead read it and edit accordingly then you will have features what to be tested right all of that is available go ahead read it and update it as per the requirement from the project and stakeholders then responsibilities who is responsible for what then what can't be tested what doesn't need to be tested then staffing and training needs one test manager four qa engineer one automation engineer one performance tester so very good numbers i would say or the calculation based on the amount of work that is articulated in this requirements document because this is good enough because you will need to do automation you will need the qa engineers now most of the qa 
engineers will have the automation capabilities nowadays so you will say five automation engineer five qa engineers and then one person doing specifically performance testing and one test manager could be five people and one of that is also performing test lead or manager role because you can imagine you know all of this test planning is happening through generative ai i simply have to a person simply has to go ahead and has to have the context of project and update this refine this and share with the stakeholders for reviews this is the draft version this is not the final version this will refine based on multiple reviews okay then you have the approach and schedule section tentative schedule it has also created what is the requirement analysis design execution regression closure and sign off so basically based on what it has provided in terms of qa engineer automation engineer uh, or or the staffing need it has also calculated the schedule as well now if you know the schedule you can in the prompt specify the schedule already say for example you have 2 months to release accordingly it will adjust the staffing needs if you don't have the schedule automatically it will provide you the schedule as well now for these items you will see that it has provided you couple of weeks which is 3 to 5 6 7 and 8 8 weeks almost 2 months of time for this piece of work which is feasible based on the number of people you have right then the pass and fail criteria risk and contingencies everything that needs to be there is there and because i have provided the template so it has provided me all of those details very neatly and easily okay so now what i'll do i'll go ahead and say for example i don't think i can go ahead and download i can share it but uh, to create a link and then share but then you can go ahead and say copy and paste the whole thing and then refine it right so if you are using the confluence for your test plan then you can go ahead and copy the whole thing and paste it in the confluence and this is the predefined template for your master test plan for your release or you are using the word document you can prepare this in the word document have the draft version refine it as per the project context and needs and then share it for reviews so the initial bit the initial piece of work that used to take few days is now reduced to just a single day so even if you have to refine go ahead talk to people within a day the draft version should be ready and you can go ahead and share for review in your team so this is how you can use the generative ai capabilities of any llm model that is being used in your organization to prepare the test plan and prepare it quickly and more efficiently because general information that we used to struggle day in day out is already there it's available that model is trained on that the model has the knowledge of millions of records available online so you will get all that information straight away and then you refine it as per your project needs and share so that's all on how to create the test plan using generative ai in the next video i'll cover another important topic how to use generative ai in testing space thank you see you in the next one